have serious dog attacks on children is prompting animal experts to issue a warning to parents tonight. It's last Wednesday, an infant was killed by a family dog in Airdrie, and on Saturday, a three-year-old was attacked and bloodied in Fort Saskatchewan. Sean Amato is covering the story. He joins us live with further details. Sean? Carrie, the mother of the little boy that was attacked this weekend, says she didn't see this attack coming in any way. Today, experts say you should never trust your dog around your child. Joe Deffy's dog is part of the family. She can't imagine it ever hurting anyone. He's more protective of her than anything. But after a week that saw a baby killed by a dog in this Airdrie home, and a toddler injured by a canine in this home in Fort Saskatchewan, experts are sounding the alarm on man's best friend. You should never fully trust a dog. They're unpredictable. Allison Harder, a dog trainer and former animal control officer, says in most cases the problem is that a child's playtime is misunderstood by dogs. So there should never be chase games or um, hugging or kissing in the face. The dog should never be allowed to lick the child in the face. I think there's a false sense of security because an animal lives in your home that the animal is always safe. This mom knows what dogs are capable of. This is her son Ashton after he was attacked by a relative's pet in 2003. And I think that people need to be more educated and I think they need to be aware that this can happen tomorrow to anyone, any member of the family. And while serious attacks on children like the one seen this week are rare, Allison Harder believes dogs and kids should never be left alone together. For this mom and dog owner though, that doesn't seem possible. No, that is not realistic at all. You know what, am I supposed to take my kid to the bathroom with me now at home? and Harder says one of the best ways to protect your child is to keep the dog out of their bedroom and or playroom. She also says that dogs should have a separate space that is just for them. Sean, any word yet what will happen to the dogs involved in those two attacks? Well, the dog in Fort Saskatchewan will be put down at the family's request. As for the one in Airdrie, that dog has been quarantined for 10 days. It's still not clear what will happen after that time runs out. Sean Amato with that live report tonight. Thank you, Sean.